Peace family, this is Jolivet. I got a text message asking me to come up here to the Black Cultural Center at Purdue to look at some of the work that I had done while I was here in its new form. This is an exhibit celebrating the 50 years of the Purdue University Black Cultural Center. A lot of this work, this research was done by me and a team of students taking old documents from files, binders, and working with university libraries and the university archive to document these in a data, metadata form. And then taking the pictures and images. And now the new person in my position has made sure that the artistic expression has happened here, where they've now taken the entire formal lounge and on the walls, they have the dates of the beginnings of the Black Cultural Center. There you see 1960s, the dawn. And there's an image that says, or the fire next time, when they laid the bricks on the steps of Hubdy Hall, demanding that black people be treated with decency and respect here at Purdue University. There's the 1968 student protest with the nine demands that students asked for. One of those demands led to the founding of the Black Cultural Center, which used to be in the house that you see in this image, and which has now grown into a $3 million facility designed by Blackburn Architects out of Indianapolis. And in this facility, there's a library with books from different time periods, as well as up to current events. And there's also opportunities for students to work at the center. And I was the cultural liaison and facility manager here at this facility for nine years. Nine years. There's arts, there's culture, there's discussion, there's debate, there's partnerships with academic arms. A lot of good stuff that goes on at the Purdue Black Cultural Center. You see names on the wall like June Jordan and Fred Horde, Sonia Sanchez, Gil Scott Heron was here, Maya Angelou was here, Muhammad Ali spoke here. You have students that have come through. There's Ozzie Davis, there's Anita Hill. Over on the other side there, you see uh, Viney Burroughs. You see uh, the person who's one of the founders of the DuSable Museum, Dr. Margaret Burroughs who's listed over here. Kwesi Mfume has been here. The students traveled on research tours all over the country. Sterling Plump has been here. Tommy Smith has visited. Melissa Harris Perry has visited. Angela Davis and Bell Hooks have visited. So has Harry Belafonte, Tarana Burke, Joe Barry Carroll. A lot of people have come through the Black Cultural Center to share their expertise with the students the world-class black students that Purdue University produces. Happy 50th anniversary to the Purdue University Black Cultural Center. Peace.